Hello you cool cats, this is Pina with a new series called Yeast 8. Um, I believe it's Legends of Donna or something? Something of Donna. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it started on load because I, yeah, alright, I don't know, I've never played this game, but I have heard really positive things about it. So, with that all being said, you know, I don't, I don't think I need to say much more. I've played a couple of Yeast games, never done more than what I would call a 50 minute sample of a Yeast game. So, I come in not knowing much about it. What I do know is how to say Yeast. <laughs> what? Oh, oh lord. Um... Okay, um, I'm fine with action games, so I think normal will be okay for me. Because I, I never really enjoyed a Yeast game, so I feel like normal's got it. Loading screen tips. Uh, load times will decrease. But I like... I like tips. I'm gonna put tips up just so that way... Maybe while I'm playing... Once, once I feel like I understand what I'm doing, I'll remove tips. Not that you guys will see very many of them, I don't think. I'll probably edit out tips. <clears throat> we are not the tools of any higher power. Each of us is the very embodiment of free will. Even so, there comes a time in every man's life when he must answer a call to destiny beyond human understanding. How will you respond when that moment strikes you? Truly, nothing is more awe-inspiring than the one who is- ah, I went too fast! I hope to embody such ideals myself. Even now, many decades later, my awe for her remains unwavering. Adel Christian, preface to Travelogue of the Gate Sea. <clears throat> Alright. I know, like, the main character is always named Adol the Red or something like that. Don't quote me on that, and if you are a huge fan of the East series, I'm sorry if I'm saying anything wrong. Southeast Greek, the Gate Sea. Or is it Gaet? Gate? Gaet? Gate? I'm gonna keep calling it Gate. Um... I apologize if that is not how it's pronounced. Lombardia? Passenger liner Lombardia. Christian. Yo, Adam! You taking a break too? Oh my gosh, you're voiced? This is the greatest day ever. Ooh, what a nice breeze. Dogi. I believe it's Dogi. Wouldn't believe how suffocating it gets in the cargo hold. Gotta say, that uniform looks pretty good on you. Awfully nice of them to let us hitch a ride to Aresia in exchange for work. I feel like the music is drowning out the character's voice. They got me moving cargo around and you helping out as a sailor on this voyage. And they're even paying and feeding us too. Pretty sweet deal if you ask me. Oh, I can pick options. Um, we need to thank the captain. Yeah. Man, that Captain Barbaros. He looks intimidating, but he's a good man. Dependable, too. Thanks to him, we'll be able to hit the next stop on our journey once we dock. I'm a little sad we gotta say goodbye to Sandra. But there's no time to be moping. 
when adventure's waiting for us. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Night on the Gate Sea. I'm actually kind of relieved that characters have voices. Because... So, Adam, what is our next stop anyway? A lot of the games I've been playing lately, I've had to voice all the characters and it gets a little exhausting. And I need to get a lot of recordings out, so this is kind of sweet. Once we dock in Sunyun, Greek is just around the bend. Um, wherever the wind may take us. <laughs> what, are you a poet now? Or are you trying to talk like Luta? If you ask me, I would have preferred heading west, along the coast of Africa. Is that like... Are, are they just like barely not calling places what they are? Whoa, whoa! Are you guys voyaging to Altago? Ah, Kathy! We're getting a lot of characters, and I feel like I'm not gonna remember them. <laughs> <laughs> you bet we are. All right, so Kathy, Kathy. Adol has always been looking for a way to get to Altago. I won't forget Adol. Dogi Kathy. Unbelievable! You do know about the conflict between the Kingdom of Altago and the Roman Empire, don't you? Roman Navy vessels are pretty much the only ships that can enter that region of the sea. Huh. Heard that you're an adventurer. That just seems reckless. Yeah, well, there's never a dull moment when I'm tagging along with this guy. Adel can't walk more than three steps without stepping in some kind of adventure. What do you say, Kathy? Feel like tagging along too? <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Anyway, you two, break time's almost over. Doki, I need you to get back to work in the cargo hold. Back on the clock already, huh? No problem. I'll head down right now. Get you later, Adol. Um. What should I do? Let's see. You've already learned the basics of keeping a lookout. Hmm. Please go see Captain Barbaros. He told me to send you to his quarters once your job was finished. The captain's quarters can be found at the quarter deck, near the stern of the ship. All right. Move, talk, and examine. Okay, as you would expect. Okay, that's a lot of buttons. Um, adventuring gear, hold this to dash mini map journal fishing <laughs> there's a there's a straight button only for fishing map full screen map item screen okay, okay this is a lot of buttons i'm not going to remember them all downloadable content okay wait right. whoa let's Let's, let's adjust the sound, because I really feel pretty confidently that the, um... Yeah, I feel confidently that you guys aren't able to hear the game over that. Oh, I'm gonna drop the sound effects, and we're just gonna boost volume in a maximum. Like, the music's good, don't get me wrong, but if characters are talking, they just get completely washed out. And we'll save. Oh, save is like instant. I'm gonna love this game. Um, journal? Oh, it keeps track of what's going on. Cool. Whoa. People entries log, meal entries log, fish entries log. There's a lot of... Oh, okay. Do I have DLC? Oh, dang, I do! 
I feel like this is all spoilers. You know what? I'm gonna- I'm not gonna look at that. Alright. Oh, and there's where I can do the costumes. Oh. Oh! Oh, this is like the outfit I usually see in like the older Yeast games. Oh, that one's fly. Alright, but right now let's let's keep the um this outfit because I think it's it's appropriate. Alright. I know that he wants to see me what is that sound? What? Okay then. Sailing away on gate C. Hello! Oh hey Adol. Still keeping watch? Oh, you're looking for the captain. <laughs> you should already know that the captain's quarters is near the stern. I know, we're at the aft. Oh, look, there's like a nun. <laughs> what a perfect day for a voyage. Truly, this is a gift from the Almighty. Would you like to join me in prayer? Hey, up! Uh, hey! Okay. I'm guessing none of these people are important. This is Kathy, right? Yeah. Hmm. We won't be seeing land for a while. It's a bittersweet feeling, really. <laughs> but I'm happy to have you aboard helping us out, Adol. Anyway, you really should go see Captain Barbaros. Captain Scort. Okay, yes, I know. I know. I'm aware. Young boy. <sighs> I thought accompanying my father on this business trip would be more interesting. Instead, I watched a bunch of grown men suck up to each other. It was pathetic. What a waste of time. Okay. You really, you really want me to go that way? Let's talk to this dude. Oh? What a massive ship. Been a while since I was last on one this big. I want to hit the head. But I took a wrong turn somewhere. Too bad to say my ship or I'd just whiz off the deck. Gahaha. <laughs> you are kinda gross. Not all gross, but kind of gross. Up here. Bearing north, northeast! Engage! Yes. We have an important passenger staying in this room. The captain has instructed me not to let anyone inside. If you're looking around the ship, you might want to look elsewhere. Honored guests, you can't enter? Okay. For the person up here. Yeah, yeah! The Lombardia is a pretty nice ship. It's more expensive than the ships I usually take, but I'm not taking any chances. Big business negotiation is waiting for me at Sunian. I'm closing this deal no matter what. Yeah. It's like we got clear skies and calm waters ahead of us. I'm pretty impressed that like all these characters look different so far. Gotta say, it's unusual for a voyage to go this smoothly. Maybe you and Dogi are good lucky luck charms. Ah, Adol. Thank you for coming. Not the voice I expected to come out of your mouth. Please, have a seat. Captain Barbaros. As I recall, you introduced yourself to me as an adventurer. Tell me. Do you know of the Isle of Saren? Uh, no. <clears throat> Tell me more. No. Understandable. The Gate to Sea is home to many islands, after all. Did he say Gata? Okay, the Gata. She's a treacherous sea to navigate. 
More ships than I can count have run afoul of her jagged islands. But the Isle of Saren has a particularly fearsome reputation, for you see, every ship that approaches the island sinks by some mysterious happenstance. Oh, so it's like the Bermuda Triangle or something? <clears throat> hmm. Yes, its surrounding waters are perilous to navigate. But that alone does not explain why so many ships sink. About five years ago, a Roman vessel conducting an exploratory voyage approached the island. The sea was calm that day, and ran afoul of nothing, yet I heard it was pulled under all the same. Grecian mythology speaks of monsters called Sirens, which lure ships to their doom. The pirates who first discovered that island declared it cursed ground, and named it accordingly. Is there any way to go ashore? Maybe. Hmm. I didn't expect you to ask that. Unfortunately, no one alive knows the answer to that question. The unlucky ones who have set foot on the island were never seen or heard from again. Even the saltiest sailors to voyage the gate to sea could tell you nothing about the island. I'd at least like to see it. I cannot approach the island, but when we pass by it, I will let you know. It seems my tale did not but stoke the fires of your adventurous spirit. I share this tale with every new member of my crew. When I first told Cathew, he was so frightened that he refused to leave his quarters. But I see you're made of sterner stuff than he, lad. Who <laughs> would hope so? Thank you, sir. Um. <laughs> now then, I'm sorry to keep you so long, but I've a favor to ask of you. I insist on holding a small welcome party whenever new passengers come aboard. I want you to attend the party and provide security. Are you worried about something? Huh? Don't worry, I'm merely being cautious. As captain, it's my responsibility to ensure that every passenger aboard my ship is safe. Please, speak to Cathu for the details about your assignment. I know you won't let me down at all. This is by far the best ship I've, I've ever been, been on. on a ship like this <laughs> yes, I mean, right? I, I've been. I've been all it's around. It's a perfect getaway. I tell you. <laughs> Are you doing it first time? First time on board? Hey, look at this guy. Come on. Good evening, passengers. I'm Captain Barbaros. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Lombardia for your seafaring needs. With four masts, and at 50 melia in length. This vessel is the largest of the passenger ships that voyage between Zandria and Aresia. All right, Adol. Since you're providing security, let's go over your responsibilities. I need you to patrol the passenger compartments and the main deck. Keep a close watch for any passengers who seem suspicious or dangerous. Uh, is someone dangerous aboard? It's possible, after all, we have a lot of guests aboard this voyage. Make sure you chat them up. You might hear some interesting stories that way. But don't forget that these people are our guests, so please be respectful toward them. Aye aye, sir. Oh, aren't you enthusiastic? Anyway, looks like the captain's almost done with his speech. I'll do my part and start patrolling the cargo hold. We'll meet up later, Adol. Anyway, that's enough out of me. Please feel free to mix and mingle among yourselves as we continue on our voyage. I bid you all a wonderful evening.
Saving and loading. Okay. We're good. So, I guess let's talk to all the people here. We'll start with you. <laughs> I'm sure you already know, but I'm only allowed to serve drinks to passengers right now. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be plenty of alcohol left over, though. Once we're done working, we'll toss a few back, like we always do. You guys should have names. Alright, let's move to this delightful looking man. Hm, this wine is the definition of mediocre. You there, what are you just standing around there for? You should be bringing me a finer meal. I heard this was a fine the passenger vessel, but it fairly reeks of the lower class. You're a, you're a bag of delight. Um... I feel bad for my family that I boarded such a luxurious ship, but it was the only one available. I think I'll make it up to them by recreating all the meals served tonight. <laughs> Guess I better start studying the menu. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> I've never seen my mistress look so surprised before. As a butler, I have a duty to support my mistress while she ventures beyond the scopes of her naivete. <laughs> she could be handful indeed. Who are you talking about? Hmm. Hmm. Sharing a feast with commoners is more pleasant than I had expected. This blending of unconventional elements has all the makings of a masterpiece. Ah yes, I understand now. There's more to the Lombardia than meets the eye. <laughs> Cheers to a wonderful night! <laughs> this claret is quite delicious. There's nothing like a bit of nip to round out a hard day's work. <laughs> In all my years, I never thought I would get to travel aboard such a magnificent ship. And the food is simply to die for. I have nothing but praise to offer. Um... Hmm. I admit, I was a little nervous about traveling by ship. We had a lovely trip, and my wife looks so happy right now, so it was all worth it. I hope this feeling lasts forever. <laughs> Thanks to my husband, we enjoyed a very nice trip abroad, and now we're heading home on this marvelous ship. I feel like the luckiest girl in all of Aresia. Hmm. As you can see, there are people from all walks of life aboard the Lombardia. You can tell who the big shots are by how fancy they've dressed. This ship accepts all passengers, though. Talk to you. <laughs> Huh, looks like we're supposed to eat while standing. <laughs> I guess this means we can eat as much as we want. Time to eat, eat, eat till I make back the p ticket price. That's what I'm saying. Wow, you look rough. Good thing I made it on board, but where the hell is that damn fool? If I had known this was going to happen, I would have arranged to meet up beforehand. Okay. Can't believe how worked up these stupid adults are getting over a party. Ugh, this is boring me to sleep. Maybe I'll explore the cargo hold. Alright. Did I talk to you? Yeah! Oh, Adol, patrol duty, huh? Doesn't happen too often, but sometimes we get stowaways. Anyway, be careful tonight. Alright. Careful is my middle name. Adel Careful the Red. Was I supposed to go? Where was I supposed to go? Okay. On patrol, huh? You look lost to me. This is the stern of the ship. The banquet hall and the captain's quarters are located here. If you want to head down to the cargo hold, take the stairs at the bow of the ship. Is it bow or bow? Whatever. Uh... Hello, ma'am, I'm just gonna bust into this room. No. <sighs> Why is he aboard this ship? My word, he always treats me like I'm a helpless child. 
Uh, I guess the butler. Maybe he has something to do with you. Yes. Some noble from Rom is staying in this first-class cabin. I'm getting real sick of this guy demanding that we bring him more food. Who does he think we are? His servants? Man, this sucks. Uh, it must be that awful pig-faced, curly. Freaking whatever. His curly yes. mustache. I've been traveling across the Gata Sea, visiting different locales to spread the teachings of the church. My parish church is based in Greek. You mean Greece? Which I've not returned in two years. I'm sure the children there have grown much. I can't wait to see their faces again. Bust into every room, busting in the rooms, busting in the rooms, busting in the rooms, busting in the rooms. Do 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 do. Did I bust into this room yet? No. Bust into this room yet? Oh hey. <laughs> what do you want? Not a thing. Jeez. You must not be busy if you have time to barge into random rooms. By the way, on your way out, make sure you shut the door behind you. Quietly. I prefer to let the doors close themselves. Um... Yes! This compartment contains the third class cabins and the sleep st sailor's sleeping quarters. What's you, Adol? Heard you're on patrol duty. How are you liking it so far? Once you're finished, you'll be done with your work for the day. Just a little more to go. Okay, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. There, there was more down. More down. Oh, there's, like, cows down here. Uh, we finally set sail. It just asked me to come aboard all of a sudden. Maybe I should have declined. It's not like I can hop off halfway. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I hope I don't have to do anything too demanding. What are those? Oh, those are adorable. Oh, those are so cute. I don't want to talk to Kathy in case he, he, uh, he moves the story along. Minimap. Okay. A lot of people to talk to. They still not go in there? Honored guests. Still honored guests. Always with the honored guests. I hear a voice from coming in the captain's quarters. Oh, this is... <laughs> what a great find. Now I'm part of the crew, too. Ahem. Oh, it's you. You must be the newbie on board, huh? I may not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty seasoned sailor myself. What are you doing in the captain's quarters, kid? Anyway, I'm gonna go report to the captain. Why don't you tidy up or something? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? You probably can't tell, but I'm very busy. The little girl ran off somewhere. Hey dude, there was a little kid, uh, who just ran off. 
The little girl just ran out of my quarters wearing a sailor's uniform. How did she get inside my quarters? Should I run after her? Mm, she did steal a uniform. Mm -hmm. Appears to have been nothing more than a childish prank. I'll ask a sailor who's not busy to look out for her. Please continue your patrol of the ship. Aye aye. Ah, the night breeze is a lovely change of pace from Rom stagnant air. Hmm. Hmm, you look like you know how to handle a sword. <laughs> Never mind. The night is so calm and quiet, and there are other things we could talk about instead. I hope your patrol finishes soon so you can relax for the evening. Is that an invitation? I like her. She's pretty. Um... No. A real voyage begins at night when visibility is nearly zero. While the passengers are partying in the banquet hall, we gotta stay on our toes to do our job. Glad to have you aboard, Adol. Thanks, sailor. The wind is getting stronger! Check our course! Set sail! No need to yell <laughs> in my ear. Ha <laughs> The breeze feels nice. Gray weather and... A, why am I giving him a pirate voice? Great weather and clear sky. Great weather and a clear starry sky. Wait for me, my darling Crete. I'm coming home. Yes. Um. Have I talked to everybody aboard this ship? Surely I have. I guess now I can go talk to Kathy. Oh, Dogie. I didn't talk to you earlier. What's up? Hey, how'd you manage to get out of work in the galley? What? Patrol duty? Mm, sounds like the perfect job for you. I mean, we're still trying to figure out where to go for our next big adventure. You probably hear some interesting stories while you're patrolling this big old ship. Who knows? Maybe you'll find something that'll lead us to our next adventure. <laughs> Let me know if you hear anything interesting. Hey, Adol. How's the security patrol going? <laughs> no problems to report. That's so, that's grim to hear. After all, we have a lot of interesting people aboard. Looks like it's gonna be another day of calm waters and smooth sailing. By the way, the captain has been looking for you. I think he said we were about to pass by something soon. He should be back in his quarters by now. Why don't you go pay him a visit? I'll go see him right away. Sounds good, Adol. I'll continue my patrol a little while longer. That, that jump sound is still weird. I don't understand it. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry to bother you. I understand how busy you are right now. I just wanted to let you know that we were about to pass by it. Isle of Saren? You mean... <laughs> That's right, the Isle of Saren. The sky is clear tonight, so you may be able to see the island's silhouette. The Isle of Saren is still about 500 square... Ki ki whatever. It's... 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 Something... Arbitrary. It wasn't a real word. A mountain range roughly... Oh, is it supposed to be mile? Why do they, like, change the words just ever so slightly? <laughs> so it was 500 kilomile or something like that? A mountain range roughly 2,000 cape a mountain range roughly 2,000 mile high stretches across the island center. Since we're about to pass by, I figured you'd want to see it. Well, that what? didn't sound good. What's happening? I don't know, sir. We seem to have run afoul of something. Impossible. We're in open waters. Assess the situation at once. Aye, 
Hi, sir. <sighs> we're quite a distance from the island. It couldn't be. Uh, I think we're too close to the island. What is that? Huh? What's going on? I don't know. Maybe we could go outside and look. G the ship's steady. Ready the cannons. I'm sorry, but could you go see what's happening out on deck? Watch your footing out there. What is that? What is that thing? <laughs> At this rate, the ship will be destroyed. Oh, it's it's gross. Oh, it's gross. It's got tentacles. Does it have eyes? How does it know where I am? Mystery of the Gate to Sea, Tentacle of the Unknown. Well, that's delightful. At all. Take this. I hope that's sheathed. Okay, good. Isolios, 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 Isolos. Isoyos blade was received and equipped. All right, it's me versus tentacle. Oh, attack and lock on. Press. Okay, press A to attack. X to lock on. A and camera will track. Press that to check and uh, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Press the O to... Uh, okay, that's the L. Dodging. Okay. For some reason it was like getting stuck in, in movement. Is that something am I is my controller dying? Ah! Okay. Well at least I can press the flash dodge move thing. Press B to jump. A while descending to do a dive attack. Press A while ascending to do a jump attack. <gasps> okay. I'm trying to do that dodge thing again, and I'm not... An opening. There we go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Button mash! Button my wet mash! To victory! Ugh. Oh! Come on, just just hit. Just hit. Hit me. Hit me. It's really hard to do that. There we go. Yay! You've been defeated. Well, aren't you a skilled one? Wow, so dashing. That was amazing! Nice work. I can always count on you, Adol. What was that thing anyway? I don't know. Did it really die though? Looked like a tentacle from some kind of giant squid. 
Why are you all on deck? Do you all have death wish? What's happening? Oh, the thing appears to have. I would say that this is probably the thing that drags ships under. Nobody budges an inch to help that guy. Oh, come on, man. <clears throat> you, you, you can't let that kid get hit by that. That will kill that kid. Although, oh, come on! Yeah, you are definitely going to go in the water, though, for that. Damn it! I'm surprised that my character hasn't, like, tried to stab the sword into the side of the ship to hold on. But I don't think anyone's gonna last on this. This ship's done for, man. Oh, no! <laughs> This is beautiful. That's the character from the uh, intro of the game, or the main screen of the game. I don't know what to call it. Big chicken. Red Oni, blue Oni. <laughs> he needs a parrot to fit into his pirate looking persona. These are not these aren't generic NPCs. They all are characters. Oh, my misunderstanding was that like like all of those people on the ship were like generic um what which you call them just like uh There was a Sundare there. <laughs> but I guess not. I guess I guess they're all unique NPCs. I don't remember seeing that girl. But I think I saw everyone else on the ship. So I guess we all somehow survived from this, this, uh, the ship crash. The Isle of Saren, Chapter One.
Where am I? You seem to have washed ashore on some unfamiliar beach. There are no signs of other people. All you can hear is the gentle sound of crashing waves. What is this? Oh, that's a garbage looking sword. <laughs> Among the debris that has washed ashore, you find an old sword sticking out of the sand. Will you take the old sword? Do I got a choice? Adol obtained and equipped the rusted sword. That's not a friendly doge, is it? Nope, there's more of you than one, so I assume you're not friendly. Okay. Well. I've got it! Not I don't learn a new skill during the fight. Skills cost SP, assign them to from the camp menu to the R, A, B, okay, got it. Text generate SP, a charge attack generates more SP. Normal text stop attacking the charge of power. Okay. Okay, got it. You need to be on your guard here. Set your skills just to be safe. Oh. We'll set it. You've been adrift so long that exhaustion is starting to set in. It's dangerous to stay here. Continue on ahead. <gasps> Dare me fish! There's a button for fish. But I guess I don't have, like, a fishing pole. I remember- I- I've forgotten, like, a lot of the other buttons, but I remember what the fish button was. <laughs> Huge fallen tree blocks your path. It doesn't look like you'll be able to move it. Do I even learn like a superpower to break that tree? Probably. Island fauna. <laughs> Those tips go by so fast, they might as well not even let me read them. <laughs> Adol found a clear water stream and drank from it to quench his parched throat. With each sip he took, Adol's exhaustion slowly washed away. Field recovery. Stand still while in the field to slowly recover HP. This does not work inside dungeons, so bring medicine. Oh. So on open land, I can heal by just not moving. Let's continue on ahead. More fish! Aw, <laughs> oh, man. It's surprising how deep in the water he can go and still let me um, traverse. Okay. <gasps> I, I can't go through there. Alright. That's fine. Listen, I'm just trying to figure out what are my limits. Whoa! That thing threw a little rock at me. No. Get out of here, you rock throwing monster. Down the path we go. HP recovery in the field, and I definitely could not read that fast enough. Oh no. We got some anime cliche about to happen. Who's there? Oh no, there's gonna be a handprint on his face. <laughs> Where is it? Yep, there it is. My word! <sighs> Why must men be so disgusting, tactless, and so domineering, too? Yes, just like him. I, th 
think we found the Sundare. There. I suppose I kept you waiting long enough. La 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 Lucia? We should introduce ourselves at least. My name is Laxia of House Roswell, a noble family of Garmin. Oh, it's it's literally Laxia. I was trying to not say that because I thought that was going to be the stupid way of saying it. Laxia. <laughs> Got it. The ship I was traveling on sank, and I was cast adrift until I came ashore here. Now, who are you? Judging from your garb, you must have been a sailor aboard the Lombardia. Uh, I'm Adel Christian. I guess if I say that, it, I'm a temporary sailor. Um. Adel Christian, you say you're a temporary sailor? Oh, Christian. I've been saying Christian. Okay, Kristen, Kristen. Is this some sort of ill-conceived ruse? I narrowly escaped that disaster with my life. I don't care if that was your first day at sea. You need to tell me what exactly happened out there. Uh, the giant tentacles. Well. Adol told her about the giant tentacles that attacked the Lombardia. You said your name was Adol, correct? So, you're telling me that these giant tentacles attacked and destroyed our ship? Do you expect me to believe such a bizarre story? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you should trust the guy who's wearing the sailor outfit. How big a fool do you think me to be? Oh, wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? Why do you remind me of... Hmm? Beast? When did they... Uh, you should leave this to me. Okay. No need. I don't need to be protected by the likes of you. I kind of figured that's what you would say. I, Laxia von Roswell, shall enter the fray. Uh, all enemies have a damage type that they are weak against. Adult's damage is slash, and Laxia's is pierce. Slash is, is effective against soft. Pierce is good on aerial, and strike is good against armored. This much typing results in lower damage. Attack an enemy with the damage type they are weak against to break them. High damage plus defense down, medium damage plus defense down, flight disabled, medium damage plus defense sharply down. Furthermore, the rare item drop will increase. The enemy takes increased damage from damage types. Allies can be ordered to follow certain behaviors. Press the blah to change. Oh, I don't need to tell you to be defensive. Why will let you switch between party members so you can fight in tandem with your allies. Okay, so I should fight the bat. I will end you. Push the enemy. No, move. So then Allow me. There we go. We do have levels. Good to know. I took you for an ordinary sailor, but your swordsmanship is rather impressive. Clearly it was no accident that you managed to parry my attack. Thank you. I- I wasn't complimenting you. Based on our current situation, this area must be the territory of those beasts. Let us relocate somewhere safer, Mr. Christian. Kristen. Uh, you seem rather calm about this. The women of House Roswell are not so easily moved to panic. 
Let's get one thing straight. Given the circumstances, a temporary alliance is our only rational course of action. But I don't trust you. Not one bit. Do we understand each other? Good. Now let's stop wasting time and get moving. Laxia joins the party. The people entry of the journal is now available. Adol's journal can be accessed via the camp menu. It contains a wide variety of information. Let's go! This place seems a little odd. Let's search the area and see if anyone else is here. Okie dokie. Loxia has left the party. What is this? A giant crystal stands before you. Its presence seems to soothe your body and soul. Oh. Crystals in retrying. Approaching a crystal fully restores HP and recovers negative status. From the game over screen, you can retry from the last crystal you approached. Oh, I see. So it's a... I see a treasure chest. It looks like it's a box. Looks like some driftage washed ashore. Red meat times three. Different types of driftage wash ashore. Items may come in handy. Be sure to check the shore often. Like any shore or this shore? Oh, that probably advances the story. Let me keep looking. A beautiful stream is flowing through here. This looks like a perfect spot to quench your thirst, but there's no sign that anyone has been here. That leads down to below. A large empty plot of land stretches over the slope. There's no reason to go that way. Okay. Is there more down here? There's some rocks. Cave. This cave seems to go on forever. There's no signs of anyone inside. Maybe search elsewhere for now. Okay, so that's a sign that I need to go talk to Laxia. Who is over here? <sighs> There's naught but ocean as far as the eye can see. Where on earth are we? Hopefully there is a settlement nearby. What a gorgeous view. This is no time to be taking in the scenery. Have you forgotten you're the one of the sailors who is responsible for this debacle? Other crew members or passengers may have come ashore on this island. Come, let us look for them. I've searched the area, but there doesn't appear to be anyone else here. I did notice, however, that this area is surrounded on all sides by rocky cliffs. This place seems pretty secure. Indeed, this place is remarkably well fortified. Given the absence of beasts, this may prove to be a suitable location for a base camp. My word! J just now I thought I saw someone walking over by over there. I didn't see anyone. 
let's find out who it was. Indeed, whether it's a castaway or a native, we stand to learn something either way. Let's pursue them at once. Okay, you're drawing me in to go over here, but let me- can I look over here first? Oh, I guess that's a nothing. And also nothing. What is this place? Th this cave runs deeper than I expected. Let's tread carefully. Yes, of course. Squishies! Light. Since we clearly lack torches, of course I'm relieved to see light. My turn now. Next. Okay. What are these? This place looks like it's been lived in. Do you think someone could still be living here? Uh... I doubt it. I agree. This hovel seems too dilapidated for anyone to be living here. I wonder how long it's been abandoned. Perhaps there's a clue here waiting to be uncovered. Let's look around, Mr. Christian. <laughs> so, oh, chest, 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 chest. Heal potion. I'll take that. This seems rather old, but maybe we can still use it. Uh, okay, item menu, sure. <laughs> Them in here? Is there anything inside? The barrels are empty. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Well, we gotta check everything that's got an exclamation point. A treasure chest. Leather armor times two. This is quite old, but I don't decided they would equip the armor anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, right? You notice a faint image emblazoned on this curtain. Look at that! It's a bit faded, but it appears to be an insignia of some sort. Fortunately, the insignia is too faded to discern properly. Old jars and bottles are scattered about. They're caked in dirt and grime. This place has been abandoned for a long time. Still, it's obvious that someone must have lived here previously. Nothing here stands out as a likely clue. Oh, there's still more. This seems rather old, but it still might prove useful. Mr. Christian, why not use the sword in place of that rusted one? Adol discarded his rusted sword and equipped the short sword. There doesn't appear to be anything of use here. And we still haven't found that person I saw outside, so we should move on. Cool. I didn't want a rusted sword anyways. Mr. Christian, a moment of your time, please. I noticed something during our previous encounters. Uh, battle bonus, lift the enemy in the air and obtain bonus XP. To beat an enemy with a skill to regain half of its SP cost. It seems to be beneficial to be proactive in the use of aerial attacks and skills. How does it sound to you? Sage advice if I do say so myself. I'll give it a try. 
Good. If you heed that advice, future battles should end in our favor. And one more thing. Breaking objects? Yes, I already knew that. Got it. <laughs> You're welcome. This is useful knowledge, you know. It's best to not give her sass, right? Okay. Wait, wait. wait. That's Allow the me. switch point. Okay. Always improving. Right there. Not done yet. Hey. A treasure chest. Yay, treasure. Coconuts. I got a lovely My turn now. Coconut Standing in the road. Oh, what do you suppose that is? A skeleton. Ugh. Who on earth is this? A decayed corpse rests against a boulder. Based on its tattered attire, Adol suspects that it must be the remains of a pirate. Whoever this person was, they must have died many years ago. But why were they here to begin with? They probably got trapped on this island. Revive medicine. Save. Yeah. Does that mean there's gonna be a boss? Who is that? Is that the captain? It looked sort of like him. Did you see that? I'm certain that was a person. Come, we must catch up to him. Whenever there's a save point, I always feel like there's a boss encounter coming. And to bar our path, then I won't hold back. Now use your extra skill. Okay, we'll fill when you land a skill. When we press R and L, then okay, tremendous attack. Got it. Right there. Woo! I need to dodge. trapped in that corner. I don't like that. I'm doing like no damage. I got a lot of levels off of that. Pretty impressive. Victory is ours, Mr. Christian. Ah, now then, we must resume our pursuit and follow that man. Perhaps he will lead us to a settlement. Was it a figment of our imagination? Don't get discouraged. Pardon. I'm hardly the type to get discouraged. Hmm? Oh! Adol! Is that you, lad? 
I'm surprised to see you alive and well. I've been searching the area for people, but I did not expect to find you. You're... Oh, Adol. Who might this be? Adol introduced Loxia to Captain Barbaros and then explained what had happened thus far. Afterward, Captain Barbaros explained how the Lombardia sank. That's all I know about the sinking of the Lombardia. So, everything Mr. Christian said was true? My actions have placed my passengers in harm's way. I'm to blame for all of this. You couldn't have known this place would... You couldn't have known this would happen, so please don't blame yourself. I understand that you execute your duties as captain with utmost sincerity. You have my deepest apologies. Still, it's difficult for me to accept everything about your explanation. Do you at least have any idea about where we are now? From the looks of things, we seem to have washed ashore on an island. Judging from our position when the ship sank, and the direction of the current at the time, we must be on the deserted island. The Isle of Sairin, to be precise. A deserted island? I've never even heard of this Isle of Sairin. Adol proceeded to tell Loxia the legend of the Isle of Sairin. A cursed island? Could such a place truly exist? I knew it. <laughs> no one sets foot on these cursed islands. Never thought I'd end up on here. We saw a corpse in the cave. It certainly looked like a pirate's corpse. That person may have washed ashore the on the island, same as us. Is that the fate of all castaways find themselves here? No, I'm sorry to cause you worry. As long as I'm alive, I will continue to uphold my duties as captain. Like Laxia, there may be other passengers on this island. In any event, we need to understand our situation without a moment's delay. Every survivor, will, we will need to work hard and ensure we get off this island alive. Yes, I certainly hope so. Now then, there's no use standing around here. Let's be off. Adol and the others retraced their steps and made their way back to the inlet. So oh, what do you intend to do now? Yes, about that. Since you're an adventure adult, I was hoping I could enlist your help. Adventurer? Why would he call you that? First, I would like you to find the other survivor. First, I would like you to find the other surviving passengers, like Loxia. It's more than likely that the other passengers have drifted ashore on this island. Some may even be women and children. We must act fast. Let's get started right away. Indeed, I'm counting on you. There's something else I need you to do while you search for the other survivors. I need you to draft a detailed map of the Isle of Siren. I'm an experienced cartographer. Is that so? How fortuitous. No ships sail through this area, which means rescue may never come for us. It falls on us to plan our escape, as we'll likely be on this island for the foreseeable future. For that reason, we must learn all that we can about the island, for everyone's benefit. I understand. With a map of this island, it will be easier for you to search for survivors. I think you can help me with this at all. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> That's encouraging to hear. I need to continue exploring the coast, but I'm considering building our base here. We'll need a base camp if we're going to be stuck on the island for a while. Um, Captain Barbaros, what about me? It would be safer if you remained here, Laxia. At, in times as desperate as this, are you suggesting that I sit idle and do nothing? I appreciate your concern, but it would bring dishonor to House Roswell if I remained here. I will accompany this adventurer. But... 
Besides, a servant of mine accompanied me on this voyage and is still missing. I cannot allow someone to search for him in my behalf when I'm capable of doing so myself. Is she talking about that butler? <laughs> I understand. Very well, I will respect your wishes. Still, we do not know what dangers await us on this island. Do be careful. Thank you. We'll be off now. Hmm. Who is the servant of yours? Pardon. My servant was a story I concocted to persuade the captain. Oh, so the butler isn't yours. Now then, Mr. Kristen, who exactly are you? You certainly know how to wield a sword. That much I will concede. But I've never met anyone so audacious, so frivolous, that he would introduce himself as an adventurer. You might as well call yourself a tourist or a sightseer. I will not tolerate anyone who speaks of adventure. As though it were some sort of life-affirming calling. What is it with you? Listen carefully, Mr. Kristen. I will accompany you, but only so that I may keep a close watch on you. Because you remind me of a certain individual whom I utterly despise. That makes no sense. <sighs> And on top of everything else, you've also seen me- Listen, that was because you were out in the open. Where did you keep a towel anyways? Uh, now then, what are you standing around for? Let us be on our way. Alright guys, this seems like a perfect place to stop. We've managed to find what I guess is our base camp. We found the captain. I mean, we, we've got the Sundere. I feel like we've, we've really made some progress in this episode. I'm sh sorry it was really, really long. But anyways, guys, if you like this episode, please be sure to like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, if you want, you can leave a comment. I love reading comments. Even if I don't always respond to them, I do read every single one of them. I'm trying to get a bunch of different Let's Plays going at the same time in hopes of trying to reach a bigger audience so that way you guys have a bigger audience to talk with in the comment section and chill with. So any support you can give along this way, especially if you're not the type of person to normally leave likes or comments, you know, go ahead and do it. You can be part of a community that's just getting started. So with that being said, I hope I see you guys in another episode. Until then, bye bye!